you want to unlock it? Yeah. Is that better? Come on. Okay, one. let's do this. Hello. Can you see me? I'm the chameleon. Who is the chameleon? Good question. There are many things. A blend of talents. They've slipped into many backgrounds, but one thing more than another. Mm, who is it? Pick an actor. I'm a dazzling urbanite. Why did I decide to become the chameleon? I live a very, very, very wild lifestyle. Very I'm 1980s, you know Broadway, what I mean? Broadway, like Times yeah. Square. As a chameleon, I get to feel technical and modern. To be honest, I'm more used to the tech of the 70s. Tech of the 70s? You might be old. My age group. I'm going into battle tonight against Hedgehog! And I'd like to win. <laughs> this town ain't big enough for the both of us. He looks very... Good looking in that chameleon outfit. Chameleon, are you single? Rita fancies you. Davina, I feel like you're in love. Well, I, I actually got a little bit emotional at the end of that because it looked like you were nervous about hitting those notes and when you hit that note, you could see you sort of fill with confidence and then everybody stood up and I thought, oh, this is really wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Davina, any ideas? I had gone old, but he's definitely younger. I was thinking Nigel Havers. What? Um, no, I know, I know, but now I'm looking at him like... You know, he's this guy's stacked. He's Nigel like, Havers at home, he can't believe he, he slapped you for that. Nigel Havers is not packing this, anything like that. This guy, <laughs> muscle. Who knows? But I'm feeling in that outfit more of an athlete with that physique <laughs> of some sort. Um, but when, it, but the 70s tech thing in the clue has really thrown me because mm. that physique does not look like the physique of a person in their 50s. Davina, I'm sitting right here. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, just turn to the left, you'll see it's all going on down this end of the table. Um, uh, Rita? I never thought I'd check out a chameleon, not gonna lie. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd check out a comedian? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's Idris Elba. Idris. Oh. oh. 
Even if it isn't, everyone's cheered up just at the mention of his <laughs> name. <laughs> Idris likes music, he's an actor, he's up for a good laugh, yeah. he's got good taste in music. Jonathan, have you, have you...? Well, I thought comedians were meant to disappear. I can see everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm checking that out. And I'm going to put it out there. For some reason, I've got a Bake Off vibe. It's either Paul Hollywood... <laughs> ..or possibly, outside of choice, Mary Berry. Am I going <laughs> to...? <laughs> Chameleon, you've got a clue for us, right? Mm hmm Go for it. I once provided the voice of a children's cartoon character. You know who I'm thinking here? Reggie Yates, who is the voice of Wester Mouse. Not a bad shout. Oh, actually. that is such a good shout. And and he's he's quite really hink. lovely body. He's, a, he's younger than 70s. Ken, Ken, have you got any ideas? Oh, uh, yeah, I know exactly who this is. Uh, <laughs> you know, when you think about it, this particular person has been in New York. It, that was all very Times Square. He has voiced children's cartoons. Chiwetel Idiafor was the voice of the little scene Chewbacca TV show. Yeah. He loves chameleons and he loves nightclubs and he loves 70s disco. <laughs> this is definitely <laughs> Chiwetel Idiafor. Thank you very much. <laughs> Drop the mic. You're amazing. Amazing. Well, we'll only find out who they are when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, chameleon. Yes, chameleon. I think he's a boxer, like... Maybe he is a boxer. Chris Eubank or something like that. Anthony Joshua. So are the panel right? Could one of these famous faces really be behind the mask? One or two of the panellists are somewhere in the ballpark, but they just don't know how close they are. Could I be an athlete? Or could I be an actor? I will not give anything away. After my first performance, I realised that it takes a lot of stamina to perform in the costume. The panel seemed more interested in my physique than my voice. I never thought I'd check out a chameleon, not gonna lie. Maybe it's Idris Elba. Chiwetel Idiafor? In that outfit, more of an athlete with that physique. I really want to rock this competition, and I just hope that Rita still wants to see Mora. Mora? That's a Love Island reference there. Someone once told me that my talent was first class. Although perhaps the same could not always have been said for my behaviour. <laughs> I spent a lot of money on some very silly things. OK, so he's definitely a playboy. My life was a bit like something out of a soap opera. And for a while, everything was a bit of a whirlwind. I was working so hard, I didn't have time to take it all in. But then I picked up three awards in the same event, and I realised that our efforts had paid off. I think a running event. He kept saying event. Olympics, Commonwealth Games. The song I'm singing tonight is a totally different ball game. I'm hoping to give the panel and audience something new, and I hope they'll still be feeling it for the chameleon. I think he's an athlete. Look at the stance. I'm totally checking out the stance. Is it coming? Is it 
vocal of the night but Harsh. I it's don't not care. but I mean I'm what? sorry I just don't care that because I really think that you had a great performance we've I just don't... been going through a list of men she hopes you yes. are so, so she I have can a date list. Oh, a list I have a list so maybe are you Anthony Joshua <laughs> <laughs> I'd love that that'd be fantastic or maybe you could be Stormzy he's gorgeous too <laughs> or you could be Lewis Hamilton or you could be I do have a, a dream list guys we might be here for a while hold on what's that name there <laughs> Ken Jong yeah. <laughs> if it is my man it's of my dreams in there, this would be the funniest story to tell our kids. <laughs> this would. You're still charmed by him. Yeah, I'm just loving it. I just love the okay, whole Okay, let vibe. me drill down into this for you because some of those clues gave it away for you. And also, the, something about your physical appearance has made me guess some as well. I'm going to go to the clues first. You mentioned soap opera quite a lot. Yeah. Maybe went off the whales a bit, then got back yes. on. And I'll tell you who I'm thinking of talented performer Richie Blackwood, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. He kind of went for one. Then he was back in EastEnders. EastEnders have won a award. I mentioned the last time we were talking about this, Tom Daly. Yeah. yeah. And he is my feeling that it could be Tom Daly. But actually, from those clues, wait for it, people, before wait. you start booing. For it. Thank you, Ken. So the other thing I was thinking, because also in the film it said, I hope Rita wants. Mora. Now, that could be to do with Rita Ora, or it could be Mora Love Island. Mora Higgins. It could Love be Island. Curtis. You're getting that. There. like, body, the swagger, he's a dancer. And that you could say that Love Island is a soap opera of some sort. It is. But I can't decide. I think that might have been you know a what? bit of a bum steer. I, I bet I'm you... still going Tom Daly. I, I, really? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's oh, a good yes, guess. I think mean, Ken knows who it is. Oh, I know exactly who this is. <laughs> You know, being on the American version, I've done a few of these. I know exactly who this is. To me, you may not be a trained singer, but you are a star. You may not be an athlete, but you may be an action star. He's an amazing presence, he has amazing buns, and he can't sing. You know what I mean? Very good. He's got all that presence. He's fast and furious. He's Hobbs and Shaw. He's Rita and Aura. Jason Statham, welcome back home. Light it up. I win. Drop the mic. You're welcome, UK. OK, Chameleon, I think they need some help. Can you tell us two lies and one truth about yourself, please? Over to you, Chameleon. In my job, it's normal for me to become wet. Tom Daly! Yeah. OK, a second one from you, Chameleon. I once won three BAFTA awards. Wow. Okay. That's a personal I've once won, isn't I've it? I've won, that, yeah, that but it could I've be a lie. It could be a lie. Okay. And the last one, please, Chameleon. It's not unusual for me to wear tight trousers. It's not Tom Jones. You know, that would be true of every single man. We all wear tight trousers now. It's a thing. Has that helped at all, Davina? My job normally involves me getting wet is a Tom Daly. That is true. Yeah, I mean, I've seen Statham swim in movies. I'm a fan. That is very true. Too tall for Tom Daly. Tom's not a tall guy. But I've been looking, and I don't think that his head is in the top of the mask. I think his head is much <laughs> further down. <laughs> if it's not Tom Daly, who is it, Jonathan? You know, I'm going to go back to my guess of Witchy Blackwood. Richard Blackwood. I think yeah. with EastEnders they've won three BAFTAs. Yeah. I know yeah. he went off the rails a bit early yeah. in his career and then yeah. he found yeah. his way back to it. Yeah. And, I, and I, I think he can yeah. sing. I think it might be Richie. All right, guys. Well, Chameleon's identity remains a mystery until their mask is fully removed. Ladies and gentlemen, Chameleon!
Our panel thought one of these celebrities was behind the mask. Who do you think it is? I'm not sure if I've won over all of the panelists this evening, but I know that Rita has eyes for me. I hope I stay in the competition so that our love may blossom. All five of tonight's mask celebrities have now performed and it's time for our studio audience to vote for their favourite performance of the night. The two celebrities with the least votes will perform again in the face-off and one will be unmasked. <laughs> it's so tense! Studio audience, remember you are voting for your favourite performance of the night. Vote now! What are you gonna do? It's in your hands. The results are in. <laughs> and I can reveal that in no particular order, the first masked singer going through is... The second mass singer to go through is Queen B. Congratulations, Queen B. Okay, joining Hedgehog and Queen Bee is. <laughs> it's Unicorn! <laughs> yes! Oh! That means the duck and chameleon, you will be performing again in tonight's. Face off. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Oh my god. After each of you have performed, the panel will decide which one of you will stay in the competition and which one of you will be removing their mask at the end of the show. Winners, you can head off down the tunnel. Well done, guys. Move over here, Doug. You go to over here. <laughs> there we go. Panel, what do you think? You know what? I can't wait to find out who one of you is. Yes. So even yeah, though that's I'll be sorry to see you both go. Really sad. In a way, it's going to be exciting. Yeah. Chameleon, I don't know if this is the last time I'm ever going to see you. We might as well get it all out. I had a dream about you last night. <laughs> and Duck, I intend to have a dream about you tonight. <laughs> I think so. No, but listen, all jokes aside, I do honestly think this was a hard vote. Yeah, yeah. Everyone did so well, yeah. but the people have spoken and, you, you know... You still have an opportunity. Yeah. Another song. Good luck, you guys. You go. Good luck, Jessica. Yes. Good luck, Chameleon. We're rooting for both of you. Back to perform, it's Chameleon! <laughs> Let's see what Chameleon does. Will he bust out a surprise that Duck did?
It's your decision. Ah, oh. who gets unmasked? I'm so torn. It's very hard. This is crunch time. Okay, Jonathan, can you tell us the mask singer the panel would like to see again? No, I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> it's too difficult because here's the thing. Both of you deserve to stay in the competition, I think. Yeah, yeah definitely. Both of you have been fabulous entertaining. We've loved seeing you both out there. Duck, that was such a brave choice. That was such a surprising yeah. choice. Yeah. And you really stuck with it and you hit those notes and I think it was your best performance. And that really impressed all of us. It really did. Chameleon. In terms of the raw emotion that come out at the end, we were all moved. I mean, Davina said afterwards she wants to adopt you. I mean, that's how we all felt afterwards. But the masked singer who's staying in the show is... Chameleon, your time on The Masked Singer has come to an end. Aww. Very shortly, you will be removing your mask. But first, panel, who do you think is behind the mask? I think it's Richie Blackwood. From Jonathan, Richard Blackwood, Rita. Whoever it is, it's lovely to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> who do you want it to be? OK, I really do think you might be Anthony Joshua. Because you know what? You've got to dream it to make it a reality, guys. Well, I'd love it to be Anthony Joshua. That means I'm six foot seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Davina, who do you think it is? I was very sure on Tom Daly, but I think he might be too tall for Tom Daly. So maybe Curtis from Love Island. Ben. Who do you think it is? I see no reason to change my voice. It's definitely Jason Statham. We're Hollywood people. Statham. We're connected. Wow. I love you. We're going to do a movie together. I am very excited to see who is behind this mask. I really am. Me too. Those guesses are all over the place. Let's see Come whether on. any of you are right. It is time to find out the identity of our mask singer. Chameleon, who is behind the mask? Take it up, take it up, take it up, take it up, take it up. My heart is beating so far. Take it up, 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 take it up,
are one of the best performers. Like, you literally go upside down on your head. You do, like, handstands. Like, you're so energetic, and no wonder you have that presence. And I knew it, and I felt it even through your mask. I really love your music. I think you're just amazing. I really do. So good. That's it. How, how single am I? Yeah, quite single. <laughs> I've absolutely gone red. I'm so... I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Did you make it a blush? I've never seen anyone make Rita or a blush before. <laughs> so, wait, tell me, what was your truth? Tight trousers. Yeah. Oh, the girls is. Yes. <laughs> what did you uh, What did you think of all of their guesses? Uh, I was really flattered by the athlete stuff. <laughs> it all well, makes sense with the like spending loads of money going absolutely yeah. mad as well because you were a legendary party man and you came back. Party man, I survived. You survived. You survived. This has just blown me away. This has just made me feel like I have no idea. We what know is nothing happening. <laughs> How was this experience for you? How was the Masked Singer? Um, I did it because I wanted to show you guys that I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> You've been absolutely incredible, honestly. Oh, like, Justin, you're so, you're so really wonderful nice to watch. To Such physicality, yeah. and you just brought so much to, to this incredible character, yes. and I think yeah. you can agree. <laughs> Next week, the Who Sung It mystery continues. But before we go, performing for us one last time, unmasked at last, the artist formerly known as Chameleon, it is Justin Hawkins! <laughs> Yeah.